Hey guys, watching Volgora's be review. Today I got a really good, a really good one. It's my hat. Not quite. Um. Uh, this is Pyramid Oktoberfest. I had no idea this existed. Until I went to Bymart today, and uh, there it was sitting there, and I'm like, wait a minute, Oktoberfest? It's a April. Yeah, it's April. <laughs> um, holy crap. And then I checked to see if there's another one. Nope, this was the only one. I look on the label to see when it was brewed, and it says... Where did I see it? 1894. No. Oh, maybe it was in the box. Shoot. But it said like something of 2013, so it was last year. Huh. I swear I thought it was on here. Oh, well. Anyways, yeah, Pyramid Oktoberfest, when I looked up in Beer Advocate, um, it said it was retired, so I am really um, anticipating this beer. Where's my bottle opener? There it is, hiding behind the brick of uh, nails. Okay, here we go. Mmm, that smells delicious. Alright, here's my... Uh, glass that's not so iced up anymore, but the bottom is. <laughs> now we have a new fridge, or a, you know, not new, but new to us. It's actually pretty old, but whatever, still works great. I can actually buy beer and uh, don't have to worry about getting frozen, which is quite nice. So a little bit bottom of the bottle. Now, uh, beer I can get, which I am... Um, now I have my phone plugged in so I can reach on this side instead of sitting on the other side and uh, have it the video dark or whatever. Okay. Uh, what? It smells really, really good. Oh man. I can smell some citrus. And I don't know, I guess malt or. Whatever you'd smell in an Oktoberfest, it smells really good. I didn't really get much of a head out of it, though, which I thought I would because I poured it to the side, but maybe I should have poured it more down the center. Um, yeah, beer Oktoberfest. There's only one review. 4.3 out of 5. Look by small for taste. Okay, yeah, they like it a lot. Just not almost a 5, but not quite. This is probably the highest rated lager in my stash of reviews. It deserves to be, while I consider Pyramid a kind of middle of the road mi macro. I mean, micro, not macro. They sure hit it here. The beer poured a deep amber copper head, was off white, and lacing was plentiful. Taste profile is a solid base of sweet malt, distinctive hopping, a winner. Creamy mouthfeel and excellent drinkability. I like this brew. Nobody's reviewed it except for one person. Wow, 3.9 is, is the average review. I guess, wait a minute. I guess one person did a written review when there's been like uh, five other uh, submitted reviews, just not written. So cool. I can, uh, that, that's what I should write up. Now I'm gonna down this. Oh, it's so good. I'm kind of surprised how good the Becks. Um, I am kind of close to the camera, aren't I? There. Maybe that's a little better. It's very nutty. I guess that's what Oktoberfest is supposed to taste like, and I almost forgot. It's been a while. It was last, uh, 
It was uh, right before Christmas. This beer is not expensive, but it's on my higher end. It was $7.29 for a six pack. Um, I am really shitty at math. My brain is mush. So let is. It's pretty good beer. I like it a lot. It's um really goes down to hatch easy. It's full of flavor. It's something you could have with dinner or you could have after cutting the grass. It's not too it it has it has a bit of hop to it. You taste the hops. But it's not an IPA. It's not going to make you, you know, Slap your face, or you know, if you're not really into hopness, if you're not that type of person, why is my screen turn off so much when it's charging? Um, okay, so we got 7.29 divided by 6, that's a dollar 21 a piece, which five cents for deposit. That'd be more like a dollar, a dollar twenty six, sixes, sixes, dollar twenty six a piece, which I guess is fair. I spent where was it? I spent a dollar twenty five. Well, then deposit so be dollar thirty for two of these, and even though it's a pretty good flavor, it's so thin. This. This is a full flavor beer. I mean, this is like, I don't know. Uh, it's a lot more than just, it, it, it's it's worth the extra few bucks. It's really good. But is this something I want to sit and drink a lot of? No, I'd probably get sick of it. And no, it would, you know, it, it would add up. I don't want to spend, you know, if, if it was cheap, if it was as cheap as Olympia, then, you know, maybe I wouldn't mind drinking it uh, more often. You know, like one and then a little later, drink another one, or, you know, one after the other with something that's super cheap. But, you know, don't really need that much f uh, in repetition. You know, I don't, yeah, I don't know. There's some people say that you, don't, you only drink, you don't need to drink as much. If you drink something that costs more, it's you know a craft beer or whatever. But if you still want to drink more, you're going to drink more no matter if it if it's cheaper or not cheaper. Let me pour the rest. I'm glad I got a a six pack of this because uh, it's it's definitely something I'd I'd, I'd want again and. I'm so glad I didn't just go, oh, well, I'll probably see it again or something like that. And, you know, did my homework and looked it up because it says retired on the on a Beer Advocate. And I don't know if they're going to make it again or just like it's done for the season. But, uh, yeah, I've, I'm have i very impressed with uh, Pyramid. I like them. It's a great uh, brewery. Got a little bit ahead now with that pour, straight down. Yeah, but oh, by the way, I didn't say the alcohol content. It's six point seven percent, so that's about the same as a uh, Dale's Pale Ale or a, a just let's see. No, a Bush Ice is five nine. I was gonna say ice or no, six point five, six point five. Oh, that's six point seven. That's that's just more than a, a Colt 45 or a Mickey's, which this is a hell of a lot better than Mickey's. I'll probably give my grandpa one or see if I can trade him for a 211. That would be a fair trade, right? Give me, or not fair to hint for me, but you know, better than nothing. It's not a fair trade, but you know, if I give somebody a beer, I'd, you know, if I get something cheap back, you know, that's cool. If he, if he doesn't, I'll just give it to him anyways because he'll probably like this. Um, okay, now I'm hitting 10 minutes in the video. Follow, finishing thoughts. Okay, so 
you want Oktoberfest. Um, Oktoberfest is a really good type of beer. You taste some of the hop. You taste some of all types of flavors. It's not just a bland, thin, blah beer. Do I hold it up so you can see it? Honey hue, kind of, yeah, anyways. It's good. And the best, the best part is, you can get a, a little buzz, and it tastes good. You don't feel like you're, you know, getting a, a I was going to say a, you know, beer belly, you know, slosh slosh from drinking a lot, but... If you take a lot of this too, you would feel the same way. But uh, my point is, it it feels, you know, like bite, like what, like the difference between uh, pie and cake and ice cream? No, I mean it's more like it's more like a dessert than like candy. By candy, I mean cheap beer. <laughs> um, if that makes any sense to anybody, I hope it did. But yeah, um, it's just more of a I don't know. It's just a great beer. Is I guess like all I could say. Um, I give it a. I think I give. I should just give it a ten. Fuck it, you know. Pyramid. I it can't disappoint. A ten. Woo! I give it a, a ten. One zero. Oh. I can't find any flaws with it. I mean, I can't say. If, I wish it were cheaper, but you know what? Actually, it is a pretty good deal. It's seven twenty nine, and uh, the one time I got Dale's Pale Ale, the cans, it was ten dollars for a six pack. Now later on, in other stores, I found it for seven twenty nine, the same price, but that's neither here nor near there. I mean, the, I like the Pale Ale too. That was pretty good too. I think I gave it a nine five, but this, it's also got it's got more flavors going on than just. Just just a pale ale. It has like the whole spectrum, I mean, except for dark. Well, a little bit, slightly, but not really. But I don't know. I like a lot. It has a lot of flavor to it. And uh, I wish it was just labeled Oktoberfest, but it's sold year round because it, it is really good. 10 out of 10. I. Well, that's kind of funny to say because it's not really my favorite beer, though. I just like a lot. But really, there isn't really anything bad. I don't really have any criticism towards it. Um, but you saw the one review on here. Whoops. Four point three out of five. That's the only review. So if I'm the only review on YouTube and I give it a ten, I guess that's the best beer in YouTube, right? Well, I guess. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Um, if you come across this, comment, let me know, tell me what you think. Probably won't come across it though. But uh, yeah, I like it. Oh, by the way, never mind. See you next time.